Hello. Welcome back again. Or were you expecting a hey everyone, welcome back. For once I said something different, right? Anyways, this is our next video for today. We're going to be looking at Citrine's new augment. Now there's a couple of things I did not expect out of this that I want to get out of the way first. If you've ever wanted to play a no helmet Citrine to her fullest, this is it. If you want to make her 4 actually useful and not annoying to use, this is it. Why am I telling you this? So you'll notice that this build has way higher range than what people normally run on a Citrine. And there are two very, very important things that we learned when we were playing with the new Recrystallize Augment today. The first is that the crystals that spread from this have no limit on respreading. So long as you keep killing, they will keep spreading forever. And that the new crystals that spawn have a brand new duration equal to your modded duration. It does not carry the remaining duration of your first cast. It has its own brand new duration. So this is a fat L for Banshee and her Resonance Augment, which only uses the remaining duration. Now here's the second very, very important part about this Augment. You know how when you cast your 4, there's a really long cast animation and it has to travel up before it tags enemy stuff and whatnot? This Augment doesn't work like that when it spreads. It hits in a perfect sphere around you instantly with no travel time and goes through walls. Basically, if you played with melee influence, you know how you're just hitting shit through walls, you never need to worry about anything? Same thing like this. Which means I have opted to build for high range so that you cast this once at the start of the mission and you never, ever have to cast Recrystallize again. Which is also how we managed to get away with the 45 efficiency build to run Blind Rage and never ever have to worry. I know you have infinite energy from Fractured Blast, but it just makes it super comfortable. Because with having medium high duration, that means every single time the crystals spread, they last another brand new 12 seconds. And you'll see that in the next coming minutes when I hop into mission with this, I never ever cast my 4 again, besides the very, very start. And what I would recommend is either running just overextended or overextended with stretch. Uh, you don't have to use these, but it's up to you whether or not you want it from Prismatic Gem. Because also, um, your gem has a 35.25 meter radius. You're going to be very surprised on how far away this gem can hit and tag enemies for when you use this kind of build. So this is what I recommend using as a template. You don't have to use Adaptation, we have Arcane Blessing again, so you can stack up health without using Vitality, because this is usually better than Vitality. Remember, your 2 also gives you 90% damage reduction. The build actually has 200 strength, which lets you start your shell from 80% reduction instead of, well, the 55. It doesn't take that long to get 250 kills, just, just trust me. Big energy bar so you can make up for big energy cast costs. Occasionally cast fractured blasts as needed. You'll be topped up. You never have to worry about anything. You can't get CC'd. All the health orbs and things turn into energy. 200 strength. You have 100% health orb drop rate. 50% energy orb drop rate. That's all you need to know about her. I don't care what shards you use on her. Feel free to use casting speed shards if you want. I'm using Madurai for extra casting speed. Because I don't want to. Now, as we know, she is all about status build. Especially because her gem will give you 200% status chance extra. And that extra status duration too. So that everything burns or bleeds or like talks and procs or gets shocked out till death. We, of course, have our typical um, corrosive heat if you want to run a corrosive shard build. Melee influence. Prova Vandal because of force procs electric. I don't care what you use here. The general consensus is just bring status again, just like the Neja build I showed earlier today. It's all about status. New course is a textbook example because this thing can't crit for shit. But of course, you can put target cracker somewhere on the build. Like, you don't even really need this. I mean, let's see. What's the reload speed on this thing right now? It, it doesn't want to show. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't want to show. But if you don't mind using Quick Draw, 
and you want to fit in target cracker for more damage, I'm telling you right now, you don't actually need it. Five times is enough. This thing destroys everything. Then you could use target cracker and run merciless instead, so you still get some reload because new core kind of poopy without any reload speed. Ammo mutation, of course, is there because spray and pray, and you'll even see me be using this uh, piece of shit Mark One Bratton setup just to prove on how busted the crystals are now. Is it broken? No. But it makes her a million times more comfortable to use without thinking that like, huh, her 4 sucks. I want to use a helmet. Well, now you don't need to. So let's hop right in and get started. Alright. Notice I have no energy at start, so remember that Fractured Plas also because we're running 235 range will give energy on enemies that you killed are afflicted by it it only lasts a couple of seconds but a couple of seconds is more than enough so i just do this oh look at all those enemies that got tagged wow hey look at all the energy i have now oh look now i can cast this now i have damage reduction i kill enemies off and now i'm nice and tanky so now what i can do i'm gonna cast this once just once and watch let me know if you ever see me cast this again for the entire rest of the mission. Because I'm not going to have to. And you see this gem here. Like, I can go kill this dude over here. Oh look, the gem hits all the way over there. Hey, we're gonna tag these dudes over here. Hey look, the gem reaches all the way over here too. I hit them? Oh, the gem can also hit them. How about you? The gem can even reach here. So yeah, um, this makes her extremely comfortable to use and now you can basically do whatever you want say like you want to play melee i don't have arcane strike on this but yeah you can basically hit everything and her gem just goes nuts tagging everything that again because well that's what melee influence does spreading status effects everywhere oh look everything is dead and you just keep hitting and hitting and hitting so, of course, you can probably come up with helmets or better loadouts and things and whatnot to make it work. But what I'm trying to demonstrate here is that if you actually want to make use of her 4, I think this augment is pretty much mandatory. Not in the sense of, oh man, she's such a bad frame otherwise. She, she's already a good frame, but that this fixes pretty much all the problems you would ever have with her 4. And makes it so that if you want to use a weapon that normally can't crit for shit, new core. Now we're all good, right? And since it's so easy to get kills, I don't need to worry about my Q going down. I just occasionally recast it when it's about to expire. So we'll run this once again as a typical five minute run, just to see what's on going on. As a reminder, this is not a KPM showcase. I'm using this to give you a visualization on what happens if you use the augment and build higher range. Now, once more, as a reminder, you can pick between running overextended or overextended plus stretch. Overextended is okay because you're able to run blind rage due to the obscenely high range, making it super duper easy to get energy back at 45 efficiency. You never really have to worry. So I would strongly recommend actually running overextended if you're planning to run this augment. Oh, wow. We actually ran out for once. What a shame. Okay. So after three minutes, I've had to recast it once. That's also, I'm gonna let you know right now, that was probably because I didn't refresh the melee influence on my Proba Vandal from the slam attack, so I was only hitting one enemy at a time. But yeah, uh, this setup at 235 range has 37.6 meter instant spread through walls. So you're not going to be worrying about, oh no, what if I kill the enemies nearby me too quickly? What if they're too far away and I'm unable to get the crystals to spread? But we literally just walked through, I think, about three or four tiles. And there are still enemies that are getting tagged with the crystals even over here. And you'll also notice that once you're using this build, if you look down in the bottom right corner, the timer keeps refreshing back to 12 seconds. Because it only tracks the newest set of formed crystals from the spread. But that's how you know that, yeah, it's an entirely new set of duration and a massive, massive radius. And you just never really have to worry about anything. Now, this is Prova Vandal. Thrice. So we just got one more minute to go. 
And you will also be very easily able to get rid of Acolytes, especially if you're using some funky melee influence kind of build. Because, well, as we know, you kill Acolytes faster by meleeing the enemies around them rather than meleeing them themselves. How about we take a look at the Mark 1 Bratton example now instead? Like, I could probably kill enemies this way, right? Right? But look, you can even make the Mark 1 Bratton with no buffs, just her base kit, no Eclipse, no Roar, no Nourish. A Mark 1 Bratton with no armor strip is now able to just, oops, I miscasted, but you can just kill stuff comfortably. So any weapon you love will be able to work here, is the big takeaway. Where's the Acolyte? So can I tag the Acolyte with this, and then just melee spam like that? Oh no, everything died too quick. But he does have a dot on him. You could also just walk up to him, I guess. And shoot him, like... Wait, what happened to your crystal? Did you build resistance from the because of the spread? That's a little bit of a shame that that's the case. But we can kill you off with this, surely but slowly, right? Goodbye. Oh yeah, a complete citrine that actually makes her four comfortable to use. All right, let's extract. I think it's time. Where is the direction that we need to go in? No, it is that way, right? I think it is this way. Or no? Is it really not this way? Bro. Waypoints, please, Steve. Okay, this side. Let's make it out. As I always say, a like and subscribe goes a long way to help out the channel. A comment would also be super duper nice on what you're most excited about in this Dante update. We can take a look at the build one more time as we extract. The keepers keep in mind is build high range, overextended only or overextended plus stretch and that will be enough. You can go blind rage negative efficiency because the absurd range makes you able to tag half the room with fractured blast. To get a ton of orbs back and equilibrium will easily top it up. In fact, you might have so much range on your fractured blast that the 50% energy drop rate might be enough that you don't even need equilibrium. So feel free to tweak this as much as you want if you want more strength, say Umbral Intensify on the build, running a DPS helmet. If you did, you'd probably want to get rid of your 3, maybe your 2 if you're going to rank up Adaptation, but otherwise, leave your 4 and 1 intact. This is your infinite energy source, this is your funny red crits. That'll be it from me. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.